Okay, for problems 17, 18, and 19, a child inherits one of each parent's two alleles independently with probability 0.5. An allele can be either A or lowercase a. Okay, so lowercase a or a. So what are the possibilities for a child of Beth's parents? Well, one parent has a a, and the other parent has sorry a and little a. And the other parent has a and little a. Let's look. What are the possible combinations? Well, the child could have both a's. It could have an a and a little a, or an a and a little a, or both little a's. In this case the child will be albino. We'll see this case as the same as that one, okay, so carrying one little a gene. And then the a a gene. The two a a's. All right, so each of these, because they inherit with probability 0.5, then each of these outcomes can be seen as like probability A and A, for instance, because of the multiplication rule and that they inherit independently. This would be probability A times probability A, which is 0.5. squared, which is 0 0.25, so a quarter, okay? So, <clears throat> actually, each of these uh, are going to be the same, if you, if you do the same math, um, for little a and capital A, and the two little a's. These will all be 0.25 or a quarter probability, with the same reasoning, okay? So each of these are a quarter or 0.25. And then finally the probability, let's say, of AA would be 0.25, so that could be any of these answers. The probability of A and the little a mix, um, since there's two possibilities, then either of these would satisfy that. They would be the same thing. The child would just have one a and one little a, so these would be the same thing. And so two of those being mutually exclusive um, let me just show you what you should be thinking of. Probability A and little a or little a and a. Those are the same thing, really. That's like probability A, little a. Plus, because they're mutually exclusive or disjoint probabilities, you can only be one of those. Um, I'm adding 0.5 two times, 0.25 two times. and that gives 0.5. Okay, so that with no doubt is 0.5. So we're down to, uh, it looks like it's going to be A, right? Because it's the only one that is true. And then of course this one is um, 0.25 or 1 quarter as well. So the answer is A. Okay, in reality, Beth is not albino. Okay, in the previous problem we determined the probabilities for a child of Beth's parents, but Beth, in fact, is not albino. So how does that change things um, in terms of what Beth's genetic type will be? Okay, well, we had those possibilities. And given those possibilities, um, The possibility that she has little a and little a gene, pair of genes, is um, it's zero because she's not albino. It's impossible. So this is out. That leaves three possibilities. Okay? So we would write this result all conditional on the fact that she's not little a, little a. <clears throat> and so we can write these... Um, you know, the way they've been expressed here. Okay, so what's left over? Well, there's three possibilities, and each of them are equally likely. 
So each possibility should be one third. And so the probability of A and A, given that she's not albino, will be one third. And then that she's um, not albino, given that she's not albino, the probability that she has one little a and an a gene are these two possibilities and like we did before we just add those together because they're mutually exclusive or disjoint you can add those and so you get two-thirds so the answer is D. How could I do this using the formulas I taught you? You should be able to. I'll prove that to you. So if I want to find the probability of a a given not albino that should be equal to the probability of a, a, and not little a, a, over the probability of not a, a. Okay, so if we go by what we had before, um, I'm looking at the table again. And then not AA would be all of these, so that's 3 out of 4. So this is 3 out of 4. And what would be AA and not little a, a? The only place that AA and not a uh, little a, a, so that's this, like we talked about. So the only place they overlap is uh, AA, which is one quarter. So this is going to be one quarter. So we have one quarter divided by three quarters will give us one third. And then since the only poss other possibility is A little A, that would be the complement, and you would get two thirds. So that's another way to do it. For the final problem, we're asked about Beth's children. Given that um, Beth marries Bob, who is albino. So we know Bob's genetic type, that has to be little a, little a, but we still don't know Beth's. So even though we know Bob's, we don't know Beth's, and that overcomplicates things because it's not just conditional on knowing Bob. We'd have to condition on the possibility of Beth's outcomes. Anyway, it's none of the above. We don't have enough information to do this problem. Or at least not with these. These are not the answers. Okay, so the answer is none of the above.